What's up guys, Vincent Vargas here. I served in the 75th Ranger Regiment for four years, and one of the coolest parts of the job is how we get to the objective. Remember Rangers sliding down the ropes of their helicopters in the movie Black Hawk Down? That's called fast roping, and it's one of my favorite ways to get to the objective. Fast roping is different from rappelling, and it's much more dangerous. You don't snap in with a harness. Instead, you just grab onto the rope, both hands, both feet, and then rotate away from the bird. Before you know it, you're flying towards the ground. They don't call us airborne rangers for nothing. Parachute operations are one of the most effective ways of putting a lot of rangers on target at once. This is probably the most dangerous way to infill into a target, since we're literally jumping out of a moving plane at a high speed. If you're scared, go to church. Everyone thinks that the Navy SEALs are the only ones who move through water to get to objectives. But, rangers have used boats to hit more than a few targets in Iraq over the years. Thanks to our buddies over at SWIC. I mean, there's nothing like flying down the Tigris River on your way to execute a special operations raid. It may not be as sexy as roping or jumping, but sometimes a striker and other wheeled vehicles are the best way to get to work. It's not as easy as it looks either. Just imagine trying to pilot a 19-ton beast while flying down the narrow Middle Eastern roads at high speeds while wearing night vision. Finally, you've always got your own two feet. Rangers run and walk consistently to keep their bodies conditioned for the rigors of long distances with heavy loads on our backs. It's not enough just to get to the target either. You gotta be ready to fight once you get there. 